So in this video, we'll be using ChatGPT Canvas and a search feature within ChatGPT to write highly SEO optimized, very human-like and extremely readable articles. And the best part is that we won't be using any other paid tools or external tools. So everything, and this is going to be a four-step process, is going to be done within the ChatGPT Canvas interface and you get all the prompts used in my free ChatGPT library. Sign up link down below. So let's get started. So what prompted me to record this video is a very underutilized feature. Uh, if you go to ChatGPT or ChatGPT with with canvas go forward slash you now have a choice between picture search and reason and i find that if you don't tell chatgpt to search for something it won't use the web by default which can produce a lot of hallucinations and basically fake content our keyword as per usual is going to be does a julius writer pass a detection and step number one is going to be compiling a list of osi keywords and entities and this is the prompt again i'm using the canvas interface from the get-go and as you can see the tail sign is searching the web. So if ChatGPT is not saying that, I would suggest you rerun the prompt. So always start with search the web. So we've gotten 100 LSI keywords and relevant entities. Step number two will be creating an SEO optimized outline that addresses the search intent, doesn't contain any fluff. And again, we will preface the prompt with search the web. As you can see, ChatGPT has searched six sites in total, mostly agility writers on websites, which is a good sign. And it has produced an SEO optimized outline again with references. And in this regard, this is now reminiscent of perplexity. Beautiful. Step number three, and this is my most favorite step out of all, is now search the web for, to find relevant data, case studies and statistics regarding does agility writer pass a detection and format as a helpful table again search in the web if it doesn't just rerun the prompt now this is a great great looking table with lots of data human scores ea detectors settings beautiful and this was step number three step number four is going to be putting it all together use markdown formatting support english to 100 percent match flash king k6 great reading level and i'm basically asking to change it to incorporate the above data and the above outline and i'm also asking ChatGPT to include links from my links.txt file which i often feature in my videos and the txt file contains a sitemap with the urls so this is step number four and this will give us our article which is SEO optimized with OSI keywords based on an SEO optimized outline and contains our links as well. And as you can see, there are some links and parts of the data have indeed been incorporated already. Now, what I'd like to do is a couple of additional steps. First one is readability level. I usually go for kindergarten. Might sound silly, but it actually produces extremely readable content that is not dumped down, just readable. And this is very important. And for the final touch, I usually use polish. I find it that polish will add a grade to your readability level. So if this was grade six before, it will now be grade seven or eight. But this is still within the readability threshold that I'm okay with, which is grade nine and below. Okay, so our article is basically done. It's highly readable. It contains links. It's LSI optimized. It references data and statistics. And all we have to do is paste it back in our favorite quality checking tool, starting with Hemingway. So this is now grade seven. Amazing readability. Now, now let's check with the AI detection software. I'm using zero GBD. And this is 10% AI, meaning 90% human. And for the final touch, let's go for Neural writer. We will need to rewrite the title to incorporate the main keyword. And we've already gotten 61, uh, which is very acceptable because nowadays Google doesn't like keyword stuffing and overlay SEO optimized articles. And if you're using a neural writer, it's extremely easy to incorporate those uh, terms using auto insert, but you don't have to. This is a perfectly valid article. So, once again, to sum up, Step one, LSI keywords and entities. Step two, an SEO optimized search intent driven outline. Then a table with data and statistics to make our article stand out and unique. And then bringing it all together, a mega prompt that uses everything that we've just generated, plus the links from the links.txt file.
There you have it. This is one of the best ways to write articles. We've been using ChatGPT Canvas exclusively, so no other tools are really needed for this method to work. You can get all the prompts used in my free ChatGPT library. Link down below. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.